As you may have guessed from watching my stories, I am a city lover and have spent the majority of the last seven years living in big metropolitan cities. As much as I enjoy getting out in nature, I love being in the hustle and bustle of urban landscapes. I love the diversity, the innovation, and the togetherness. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you what I think are the 10 best cities in the world after visiting over 700 of them. Number 10, Hong Kong. Ah, uh, welcome uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, you <laughs> Hong Kong is a city that I've grown to love so much over the years after visiting about eight times, most recently two months ago. I think the city just has everything. The markets, the food, the culture, the nightlife. It is so buzzing, so electric, so many things to do. And if you want a quieter side, you can hike up to the peak where you get a stunning view of the urban landscape from above. This is my favorite place in Hong Kong. Or if you want to go hiking, there's so many different hikes to do. You can go to Lama Island, which is just 20 minutes away. I would say it's the most uh, amazing kind of haven for creatives. I don't know, Hong Kong for me just has it all. It's also very convenient. You can find anything you need. And don't forget to try dim sum. Number nine, Amsterdam, Netherlands. When people think Amsterdam, they think about smoking weed and going to the red light district, which yes, it has those two things, but there's so many more reasons to love the city. I've been there about 10 times. First of all, it is beautiful. You have these ring of canals, which is kind of the landscape of the city. You have some of the most beautiful parks in the world. I recommend going to Vondel Park and just enjoying the day, having a picnic. Dutch people love the outdoors and they also bike more than any other place in the world. It's actually easier to bike around the city than to drive. So I recommend getting a bike, going around, going into all the cheese shops and getting free samples and just enjoying the life that Amsterdam has to offer. All the museums, all the fun, all the nightlife. God, I really, really want to get back there right now. Number eight, Esfahan, Iran. By far the best city in Iran that I went to is called Esfahan. It's one of the most historical cities in the world and it also has the second largest city square behind Tiananmen Square in Beijing. And in Esfahan Square, you can see beautiful mosques. It's called Royal Family Mosque. Horses and carriages going around, markets, parks, cafes. It's such a great ambiance. And in Esfahan was where I found to be the most heartwarming and friendly people. Of course, those exist all over Iran, but in Esfahan was the center of it all. Number seven, Lahore, Pakistan. The second largest city in Pakistan and my personal favorite is Lahore. It is set right on the border of India in the Punjabi province of both Pakistan and India. There is one Punjab province, which goes to show how similar the two cultures are, but that's another story. Lahore is just bustling with life. I just remember walking on the streets and being amazed by everything around me. It's where you can see the most stunning mosque in all of Pakistan. We're overlooking the beautiful mosque behind me. It's also where you can hike up to the top of one of the minarets and get an amazing view, which I flew my drone in. And also Lahore is famous for its food, which is a bit spicier than the elsewhere I found in Pakistan, but it has my favorite dishes. Of course, the lassi is my favorite. You have to try that. Number six, Chicago, USA. New York is really cool, but it's a little too fast paced for me. LA is also cool, but it's a little bit too laid back and slow. And Chicago is the perfect mix of both. Midwestern people are the most friendly in all the US. I just love it up there. I went to University of Wisconsin, so I'm used to that culture. And Chicago just has it all. Number five, Berlin, Germany. Oh man, where do I begin with Berlin? It is the most fun, most alternative, and most hip city in Europe and probably in the whole world. I've been there many, many times. Let's start with the nightlife. The techno scene in the world was kind of built out of Berlin, so you have these really cool all-night rave techno parties. A lot of nightclubs, a lot of bars, lounges, beer gardens, any scenario that you could think about in nightlife, you have it in Berlin. The city in general is gorgeous. It actually has more bridges than in Venice. I recommend getting a bike and riding around. You can visit the Museum Island, San Susi Palace. ¿Dónde estamos? Estamos en... And the parks in Potsdam, which are all UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And side note, in 2016, I broke a Guinness World Record for visiting the most UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 24 hours. Three of those were in Berlin. Did we just set a world record? <laughs> yeah. You have the longest open air art gallery in the world, which is on the Berlin Wall, and you can see all the famous murals. And also in Berlin, you have the best Middle Eastern and Turkish cuisine in all of Europe. And so in Berlin, this is like the thing to do. This is the thing to do. Whenever you get drunk and you need a bite afterwards or beforehand you have a drink. I'm not up. drunk right now but I still can try it you know. Number four, Beirut, Lebanon. 
Beirut is fantastic. I've been there three times. I have a lot of good friends out there and they have shown me the best of the best that the city has to offer. So now we're inside the protest. It feels more like a European city than a Middle Eastern city. You have stunning Mediterranean views. You have snow-capped mountains. You have all greenery. There's no desert in Lebanon. Check out these views all the way down the valley. But in the city, you just have the warmest and friendliest people. The cuisine is to die for. I always say that Syrian and Lebanese cuisine is one of the best in the world. I tie them together because they're pretty much the same. And it's funny to me when people think that Beirut or Lebanon is unsafe because it's actually one of the safest places I've ever been in the world. If you guys could do me one favor, go to Beirut and see what it's like for yourself. Number three, Hanoi, Vietnam. After traveling all over Vietnam, Hanoi is my favorite city. It's actually where Deanna and I lived for six months a few years back. You have the colonial architecture from the French, specifically the main church. You have charming side streets filled with street vendors selling you pho or Vietnamese coffee or banh mi sandwiches, my three favorite Vietnamese treats. The traffic is chaotic and there are no street lanes, but somehow it just works perfectly. And if you guys want to avoid the traffic, then just hang out on Hong Kiam Lake. It's right in the middle of the city. You can walk around. You can see people working out, people walking their dogs. There's nothing not to like about Hanoi. And the next time you go to Southeast Asia, I highly recommend you to visit. Number two, Seoul, South Korea. Many of you guys know that I lived and taught English in South Korea for two years. I was just south of Seoul, so I was there every weekend hanging out with my friends. The city just has this contagious buzz, this energy that I haven't seen anywhere else. All the neon signs, all the bars, the cafes, Korean barbecue restaurants. It is so lively. There is something happening in Seoul 24 seven. You have amazing hiking. You have the Han River, which cuts through the city. You have the posh district of Gangnam. You have the foreigner district of Itaewon. You have the young, hip, college area of Hong Day. In Seoul, there's always something happening. And it's kind of funny to me because it gets overshadowed by Tokyo or Taipei, but Seoul really has it all. Number one, Prague, Czech Republic. I applaud you guys if you have made it to the end of this video because now you are about to hear about my favorite city in the world, which is Prague in the Czech Republic. Some people may say it's biased because I studied abroad there in 2012 and that's where I got my travel bug, but I have been back every summer and I've been all throughout Europe and I can say that it is just the best city, not only in Europe, in the whole world. First of all, it's small enough that you could walk around the whole city in just a few hours. No offense to Paris or London or Barcelona or Rome, those cities are great but it just takes forever to walk around and it's exhausting. But in Prague, you can do it all and the public transportation is actually fantastic. Czech people might not be the friendliest from the outside as they don't smile often, but once you get to know them, they're super cool, super friendly, and they're just always down to have a good time. In my old neighborhood of Namisi Miru, there is a beer garden where you can just sit back on the hill and enjoy the views of the city in front of you. And while you're there, you have to visit Old Town Square, the John Lennon Wall, Prague Castle, Charles Bridge. I can go on and on and on on and on. There's so many things to do in Prague. You guys have to go on your next trip and you will not regret it. And have a beer for me because the Czechs drink more beer per capita than any other people in the world. To pivo je výborný. All right guys, that is it for my favorite cities in the world. It's funny because when I started at number 10, I just talked a little bit and then as I got to number one, you could see my passion was growing and growing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to comment below and let me know what are your favorite cities, I would love to hear them. If you've ever been to my favorite cities, let me know what your experience has been. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. That's all, you guys know the drill by now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.